Hello students. Now we'll start the next problem on joint venture that is problem number four. So far three problems we have completed. We got some knowledge about uh, the problems on joint venture, how to prepare the joint venture account and the co-venturers account in each co-venturers books. Now see the fourth problem. Hope you have got the problems copy from the link under my description. So keep it ready before starting the problem. On 1st October 2013, Hiran bought a parcel of precious stones for 85,000. He consigned it to Dhiran, who agreed to share with him equally the profit or loss in the venture. Two co two, two co venturers are there, Hiran and Dhiran. So Hiran is investing and Dhiran has to sell. That is the agreement between them. Whatever profit of joint venture they will get, that will be shared equally by both the co venturers. So Hiran has bought precious stones for 85,000 and Hiran paid 900 rupees on account of carriage and insurance. 85,000 rupees ke precious stones kharida. Apart from that 900 rupees he has spent on expenses. He drew on Dhiran a 3 months bill for 40,000 on account discounting the bill on 4th October 2013 for 39,600. Now Hiran Hiran has drawn a bill of exchange on Dhiran. Dhiran has accepted the bill and returned the bill back to Hiran. Hiran, Dhiran ke upar bill draw kara. Dhiran usko accept karke wapas Hiran ke pas de diya. Kitne ka bill hai? 40,000. And this bill was discounted by Hiran for rupees 39,600. 400 rupees discounting charges. Discount is borne by the parties equally. Agreement ye hai ke jo bhi discounting charges honge that will be shared equally by the co-venturers and here profit sharing ratio is also equal so we transfer this discounting charges to joint venture account so under joint venture account all the profit and losses will be shared equally on receipt of the stones on 3rd october dhiran paid for insurance 300 and 800 for cutting and polishing some expenses are also paid by dhiran Dhiran actually purchase nahi kar raha, purchase kar raha Hiran. Hiran purchase kar liya 85,000 rupees precious stones. He has spent 900 rupees on expenses. He has drawn a bill on Dhiran for 40,000. Discounted the bill for 39,600. Now, after receiving the precious stones, Dhiran has paid some expenses. 300 rupees and 800 rupees. On 28th Feb 2014, Dhiran sold the stones for 1,5,000. All the precious stones are sold by Dhiran for 1,5,000. His expenses being 900. Apart from insurance, etc. His expenses are 900. On 31st March, he sent to Hiran an account sale along with the bank draft for the amount due to him. 31st March ko, jitna bhi payment karna tha Hiran ko, wo amount Hiran ko bheja diya. Joint venture is closed. Write up the accounts as they would appear in the books of Hiran and Dhiran respectively. It is asking you to write up the ledger accounts, not journal entries. Directly ledger accounts in the books of Dhiran and in the books of Dhiran. So first we start with the books of Hiran. In the books of Hiran, first of all, Hiran has purchased the precious stones for 85,000. So debit side, joint venture account debit side. Entry will be joint venture account data to bank. Joint venture account data to bank because he has purchased. So to bank purchase 85,000 rupees worth of precious stones he has purchased. Who has purchased? Hiran. So entry will be joint venture account data to bank purchase. Apart from that, he has spent 900 rupees on he has spent 900 rupees on account of carriage and insurance. Hiran has paid 900 rupees for carriage and insurance. So entry will be joint venture account data to bank. Expenses 900. And he drew on Dhiran a 3 months bill for rupees 40,000. Now 3 months bill of exchange. Hiran has drawn on Dhiran. After receiving the acceptance, the entry will be Bills receivable account data to Dhiran's account. Bills receivable account data to Dhiran's account. So Dhiran's account will be credited by bills receivable. How much? 40,000. 
चालीस हजार रुपए का बिल आ गया नाउ दिस बिल इज डिस्काउंटेड विद द बैंक बैंक अकाउंट डेटा डिस्काउंट अकाउंट डेटा टू बिल्स रिसीवेबल वी डोंट हैव बैंक अकाउंट वी डोंट हैव बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट वी डोंट हैव डिस्काउंट अकाउंट तो दिस एंट्री विल नॉट बी पोस्टेड अब डिस्काउंट हाउ मच इज द डिस्काउंट फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज इज द डिस्काउंट क्योंकि फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज का बिल है उसको डिस्काउंटिंग करें थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड तो फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज इज द डिस्काउंटिंग चार्जेस दिस डिस्काउंटिंग चार्जेस शुड बी ट्रांसफर टू ज्वाइंट वेंचर एंट्री विल बी ज्वाइंट वेंचर अकाउंट डेटा टू डिस्काउंट तो ज्वाइंट वेंचर को डेबिट करेंगे टू डिस्काउंट हाउ मच इज द डिस्काउंट फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज डिस्काउंट नेक्स्ट on receipt of the stones on 3rd october dhiran paid for insurance 300 and 800 for cutting and polishing to 800 plus 300 is 1100 to 1100 rupees are spent by dhiran to entry will be joint venture account data are to dhiran's account we are preparing the accounts in the books of hiran remember hum jo accounts prepare kar rahe hain hiran ke books mein aur ye jo 1100 rupees pay kar raha dhiran pay kar raha to entry Joint venture account at R to Dhiran account. So joint venture account debited to Dhiran account. Expenses. How much? Eleven hundred. Dhiran's account is credited by joint venture expenses. Eleven hundred. Now, on twenty eighth Feb two thousand fourteen, Dhiran sold the stones for one lakh five thousand. When the goods are sold, joint venture account should be credited. When expenses are incurred, joint venture will be debited. When sale, when the goods are sold, joint venture will be credited. Now, who is selling these precious stones? Dhiran. So entry will be Dhiran's account data to joint venture. Dhiran's account data to joint venture. So Dhiran's account will be debited to joint. venture sale 1 lakh 5000 joint venture is credited by dhiran's account sale 1 lakh 5000 oh now his expenses being 900 900 rupees spent for selling these goods by dhiran dhiran has paid 900 rupees expenses entry will be joint venture account data to dhiran's account So joint venture account will be debited to Dhiran's account. Dhiran's account expenses will be nine hundred. Here also by joint venture account expenses account expenses nine hundred. After this, on thirty first March, he sent to Dhiran an account sales along with the bank draft for the amount due to him. Thirty first March, को Dhiran के पास से पूरे पैसे आ गए. तो बैंक अकाउंट डेटा टू धीरन तो बैंक धीरन अकाउंट इज क्रेडिट बाय बैंक ये लास्ट में देंगे आफ्टरवर्ड्स विल टेक फर्स्ट वी फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द प्रॉफिट और लॉस ऑन जॉइंट वेंचर जॉइंट वेंचर पे प्रॉफिट हुआ या लॉस हुआ अब मालूम करेंगे नाउ सी क्रेडिट साइड 1 लाख 5000 डेबिट साइड विल सी 85000 प्लस 900 प्लस 400 प्लस 1100 प्लस 900 88,300. तो डेबिट साइड 88,300. क्रेडिट साइड 1 लाख 5,000. तो देर इज अ प्रॉफिट क्रेडिट साइड इज मोर तो 1 लाख 5,000. हियर आल्सो 1 लाख 5,000. फ्रॉम 1 लाख 5,000 माइनस 88,300. इट कम्स टू 16,700. 16,700 इज द प्रॉफिट ऑन जॉइंट वेंचर. This sixteen thousand seven hundred. So sixteen thousand seven hundred is the profit on joint venture. This will be shared by both the co-venturers equally half. So sixteen thousand seven hundred divided by two, it comes to eight thousand three fifty. So each co-venturer will get eight thousand three fifty. So entry will be joint venture account data to P and L account to Dhiran's account. Joint venture account data to profit and loss account to Dhiran's account. So joint venture account debit side to P and L account. That is sixteen thousand seven hundred. Sixteen thousand seven hundred into one by two. Usi tarah by Dhiran's account. Sixteen thousand seven hundred 
16,700 into 1 by 2, 8,350. So each co-venturer will get 8,368, 16,700. Now, Dhiran's account should be created. Joint venture account account to PNL account to Dhiran's account. So Dhiran's account is credited by joint venture. Profit. This is the profit. How much? 8350. Now the balance will be transferred, paid by Dhiran to Hiran. Ab jo paise bache hai, settlement of account, Dhiran has to pay to Hiran. So entry will be bank account data to Dhiran's account. So by bank. Balancing figure. Final amount sent. Final amount sent. Now, the final amount sent is 1,5,000 debit side, 1,5,000 minus all the credit items. So, 105, 1,5,000 minus 40,000 minus 1,100 minus 900 minus 8,350. That comes to 54,650. So, 54,650 is the final amount sent by Dhiran. To Hiran. So this book is Hiran. So the entry bank account data to Dhiran's account. So Dhiran will create buy bank 5486. That's all. So completed the two accounts in the books of Hiran. Now we will come to Dhiran. Now we will come to Dhiran's books of Dhiran. Joint venture account and Hiran's account. These two accounts are prepared by Dhiran. So first 85,000 rupees worth of precious stones are purchased by Hiran. The entry will be Joint venture account data to Hiran account. Ye purchase jo kare Hiran purchase kara. Or hum jo entries pass kar rahe, Dhiran ke books mein pass kar rahe. So entry will be joint venture account data to Hiran's account. Eighty five thousand. Eighty five thousand. Hiran's account credited by joint venture account. 85,000 rupees worth of precious stones are purchased by Hiran. Now, Hiran paid 900 rupees on account of cartage and insurance. Now, 900 rupees are paid by Hiran. So, what is the entry? Dhiran will pass. Joint venture account data to Hiran account. So, joint venture account, this is purchase. To Hiran's account. Expenses. So, 900 rupees are paid by Hiran. So joint venture account data to Hiran's account. Hiran's account is credited by joint venture expenses 900. Next comes he drew a on Dhiran a three months bill. Now Hiran has drawn a bill of exchange on Dhiran and Dhiran has accepted. When he accepts the bill, the entry will be Hiran's account data to bills payable. In the previous problem also I told you the drawer it is a bills receivable. For drawee it is a bills payable. So entry will be Hiran's account data to bills payable. So Hiran's account is debited to bills payable 40,000. Now this bill is discounted by Hiran. So no entry will be passed in the books of Dhiran. Ek bar bill ko accept karke Hiran ko de diye. So Hiran kuch bhi kar lega. No entry will be passed by Dhiran. Haan, discounting charges are there. The discounting charges is a loss. It should be borne equally it is given in the problem. So joint venture account data to Hiran's account. The entry will be joint venture account data to Hiran's account. To Hiran's account. Discount. How much are the discounting charges? 400. So Hiran's account is credited by joint venture that is discount 400. Next comes on receipt of the stones, Dhiran paid insurance 300 and 800 rupees for cutting and polishing. So totally 1100 rupees are paid by Dhiran. So entry will be joint venture account data to bank. So joint venture debit to bank. Expenses 1100 rupees are picked. Then comes 
On 28 Feb 2014, Dhiran sold the stones for rupees 1 lakh 5000. So 28 Feb 2014, Dhiran has sold all the precious stones for 1 lakh 5000. The entry will be bank account data to joint venture account. Bank account data to joint venture. So joint venture ko credit karenge by bank. Sale. 1 lakh 5000. Sale proceeds. Next. And uh, his expenses being 900 rupees. 900 rupees he has spent. Who has spent? Dhiran has spent. Entry joint venture account data to bank. 900 rupees he has spent on 31st March he sent to Hiran an account sales along with a bank draft for the amount due 31st March pura account sales bija diya hona bija kar pura balance jo pay karna tha that he has sent through bank draft so first we find out what is the profit or loss on joint venture jo profit or loss joint venture pe Hiran ke books me aya same amount we will get in Dhiran's books Joint venture account will show the same profit or loss in the books of both the co-venturers. Dono co-venturers ke accounts mein jo joint venture account banayenge, dono ka profit or loss same rahega. Ab yahan par profit aata 16,700. Here also same thing, 1 lakh 5,000, 1 lakh 5,000. 85,000, 900, 400, 1100, 900. So all the amounts are same. So we'll get a profit of 16,700. This is the profit. Now this profit will be shared equally by both. So here to P and L account that is 16,700 into 1 by 2, 8,350. By Hiran's account, 8,350. Same, 16,700 into 1 by 2. Equal partners, equal uh, co-ventures. So, jo bhi profit aayega, equally share kar liye. So, entry will be joint venture account data to P&L account to Hiran's account. So, Hiran's account should be credited by joint venture profit 8,350. That's all. That's all. So, this account is closed. Now, we'll find out how much is the balance sent by Dhiran to Hiran. A balance kitna hai? Actually, Dhiran has sold the goods for rupees 85,000. Now, that 85,000 goods mein jo, jo becha hone, wo that money he has got it. Now, he will take his expenses. Nikal dega. How much expenses he has paid. Now, we will find out what is the balance remaining. Balance remaining in Hiran's account. So, here 85,000 plus 900 plus 400 plus 8,350. That comes to 94,650. So credit side we are getting 94,650. 94,650. From this amount minus 40,000. 54,650. Same amount 54,650. This is the final amount sent by Dhiran to Hiran. So entry will be Hiran's account data to bank. Hiran's account data to Bank. So here in second is debited to bank. Balancing figure. Final amount sent. That's it. Over account is closed. This is the end of problem number four.